Goldie here with a video for the kickoff of the Wild Ones MLC. I'm uh, going to do a couple different things in this video. The first is going to be maxing my talent up. The second is going to be a roster scroll and a bit of a conversation about roster focus. And the third thing I'm going to do is talk about the MLC itself, uh, what my thinking is, what my plans are, what my strategies are, etc. So. Let's start with the talent up. I am working on my women, um, as everyone should, um, but I'm doing the uh, the many faces of Charlotte Flair. Um, I got Acro Charlotte from the Portal Trivia a while back. I have all three gears for Showboat Charlotte. And at five star, I'm really intrigued by Zombie Charlotte. So I figured I would take all of them up um, so I dropped about 23 mil to get Acro Charlotte up from level one. Uh, so that accounted for a good chunk of my talent up. So taking Showboat Charlotte and Powerhouse Charlotte to five star bronze will max it for me. And I'm also going to evolve Acro Charlotte at this point. Um, it won't get me a whole lot of points, but I've already maxed and I'd like to work on her throughout the month. So let's hit the button. Excellent. So at five star, she gets the Backpack Stunner, which is a yellow move and does damage for every Multiply gem. Uh, so that'll be fun to play around with. I think I'm going to stick with this setup I have for her right now, uh, but I'll tinker around. I'll probably do another gameplay video on her now that she has five star and she's got all three gears. Um, yeah. So uh, the gear boost is Multiply Gem Strength generated, not like Multiply Gems do more damage. So it won't affect that five star move. But again, I'm still curious to see what it does and what the kind of power I can get. Um, so that makes her my third five star woman. And taking up Zombie Charlotte will complete a League 17 task for me. Um, I'll have 10 superstars at five star bronze. So at five star, Zombie Charlotte gets a move, uh, the Outbreak Power Bomb. It's a red move, which is a choose area destroy. So she could be fairly fun um, to run triple red with um, either Sting or Butch and Zombie Austin for the sub, um, X Pac as a coach. Uh, Ray for more blast gem damage. That could be a lot of fun. I will definitely be doing a five-star gameplay video on her um, Similar to Big John Stud, I like characters that blow up the entire board So I'm very excited to play test this build and see what we can do I do have Wrestlemania straps on all three of my Charlottes as well. So that's a big reason for the push and Acro Charlotte I don't have enough tokens to take her um, five star bronze, I don't think. And even if I did, I don't have enough TP, but she is definitely going to be pushed throughout the month.
Okay, so I do have enough tokens. I just got to acquire some more TP for her. I've spent quite a bit of it getting her ready. Again, somebody that I'll be pushing to five star. Uh, the big boot that unlocks at five star is a three MP move that deals flat damage. So similar to DX China's one MP move at five star that just smacks people every turn. Um, Charlotte's has that as well, but it's three MP. So that is, um, that's my talent up max, the many faces of Charlotte Flair. So let's go see what kind of skill plate. Yep, maxed, a little over, that's okay. Again, the first nine milestones were from putting levels into Acro Charlotte and um, unlocking perks. And yes, I collect the milestones one by one. It's fun to see what you get individually. I have no idea how close I am to Eric. Like, I surely won't get him through this, but it might be dangerously close. And the skill plate is a bad attitude plate. That's my third. Um, still no two words for you plate, which is unfortunate. And I did mention that uh, 10 superstars at five star bronze is a league task. So I will take that eight mil That'll help a lot. I should be able to knock these out throughout the month. So again, Showboat Charlotte, Powerhouse Charlotte, Acro Charlotte. That was my plan for the talent up and we've maxed it. So let's move on to a roster scroll. So for my roster scroll, I have, let's take a look by rarity so i've got four women at uh, five star bronze now and i've got three men at five star silver and three men at five star bronze um i think my bases are pretty well covered um, i have a five star of each class um i've got an attitude era i've got two modern two legends and a ruthless aggression era in five star um for women uh, re a reality era a pg and two moderns plus two zombies and just need an acro and a tech um so those will be acro charlotte will definitely go five star and i don't have gear for becky so my plan is to work up Rhea Ripley. Um, and now that Charlotte, the showboat, is five star, my plan is to work on Mickey. On the men's side, I'm really not sure where my focus is right now. Um, like everyone else, I've been experiencing the crunch of four star silver tokens. Um, so that'll hinder my ability to work on Fandango and Mickey at the same time, but I do want to work on Fandango. I would like to take up Lex, but I don't have a head games plate for him. And it's kind of a mess from <laughs> there on out. Um, I really have to check, obviously, uh, Daniel Bryan needs to go up. Um, but for instances like this, I do have a roster focus sheet. So I've made this to um, kind of keep my priorities in line. I have it sorted by era and by class. And eventually my goal is to have somebody covering every single um, area except for obviously the characters that don't exist, like the new gen acro male, any new gen female. Um, so I will make this editable and I will make the spreadsheet public and I will put the link in the description of this video. So you can use this yourself if you feel you need some kind of help with uh, keeping your roster in track. Again, my focus is pretty set for the women's roster. 
Um, I need to check. I do have some projects. Um, I need to work on Texina. I need to get Batista to 9K. Um, so for my men's roster, I think I'm just going to work on my trainers this month and then focus on beefing up my women's division. Um, let's move into MLC plans as well. So my plans for the MLC, I'm not entirely sure yet if I'm going to fully commit to chasing. Um, the skill plate for maxing the MLC is a honky tonk blues plate, which would be fantastic for Acro Charlotte. Um, but I never really get close to maxing an MLC. I find I don't have enough of the bonus characters or what have you I don't spend I'm not VIP I I find um without like after the second week or so I kind of have a sense of if I'll do it or not um, my resources are a little low so I'm not sure how far I'll take Sika um, I will absolutely take him to 5k for his trainer ability um I do think that this, or sorry, coach ability, um, this would benefit Bailey at five star if you run her with the submission move uh, because you could run her triple blue, a little chaotic, but you could run her triple blue with the sub because her sub leaves color turn gems on the board and therefore that would make her finisher stronger. Off the top of my head, I can't think of anybody that I use with a blue sub. Um, Bailey is definitely going to go five star bronze um, next talent up anyways. I have everything ready for her. I was just focusing on other people. In terms of the daily tasks. So these change every single day and I was kind of hoping that it would be 28 milestones for a 30-day event. That way, if you happen to miss one of the tasks, you weren't completely out of the race. Um, but unfortunately, that's not the case. And my fear is that there will be, um, a, when the Champions Club Tour comes out, my fear is that that will be a requirement for the tasks. So I'm already resigned to the fact that I'm not going to get Sika's gear. Um, and that's a bit of a reason why I'm not pushing him. And I'm sure that along the way I will be um, unable to complete every single day. Maybe I'll be lucky to get um, 20 of 28. Who knows? Um, not a lot on the blog in terms of what the tasks are other than they change every single day. Um, one of the changes that I do like about this month is the daily blitz. Um, it's not tiered anymore, so you don't have to wait until, or you don't have to worry about taking up the contest character to 8,100 talent. Um, and he has a bunch of monthly boosts. Um, he has like three of them. Those are his links. Look at the contest page real quick. Superstars. Okay, so he's got four monthly boosts. He has plus three move charge to all moves. Moves that generate red gems will create two more red gems. Moves that generate blast gems will make two more blast gems and then plus one move charge to all moves. So his blitz is absolutely doable at one star bronze because they gave him a bunch of head starts. And if you have blitz perks, um, you could turn one the whole thing. That one MP or two MP move does 500 damage, and if you're using a one-star bronze character to blitz, chances are your opponent only has 1,500 health. So the blitzes will be done fairly quick. Um, one thing I don't necessarily like about this month uh, is no keys. 
Now, not that I get anything decent from key pulls anyways, um, but it is nice to acquire shards um, for some people every once in a while. I can't say that I've looked at Afa and Sika all that much. Um, like, like I showed in my roster scroll, I do have two male legends at five star. So in terms of roster gaps, I don't feel the need to chase or push them fairly high. Um, if it was another Hall of Fame month or a month where I was lacking, it would be a different story. Um, but I'm just kind of going to see what I can get, do what I can, and see how the month goes. The faction blitzes look a lot more manageable this month, which is nice. And um, those rewards have changed as well. Let's take a look at those real quick. Because again, something else that I really like. Now, for the normal blitz, which I'm stuck doing because my Sika is one star, um, I have all the characters in the bronze bag already. But the, the bags do change when your Sika is two star and then three star. Um, and there's faction points in the blitzes. So in lieu of keys, which would have given us faction points last time, they've just given us the faction points in the blitz. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my first impression thoughts on the MLC. Let me know uh, how your talent up was. Let me know uh, what your roster is looking like. Let me know what your plans are for this MLC. Are you chasing? Are you hoarding? Are you just kind of going with the flow like me? Let me know in the comments or on Twitter or on Discord. Thank you very much for watching this video. Be sure to like, share this with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next video comes out. Thanks again for watching. Take care.